Hi all, today is day 7 of our programming in data science. So today we will be starting with our first project that is uh, using the empty cost data set. As you know empty cost data sets are built in data sets. So this data set is basically about the specifications and performance of various uh, car models like uh, the mileage and the horsepower transmission type all those things. So whenever we get a data set, we should have a basic idea of what that data set means and what the variables are. Okay, uh, let's load the data set. So for loading the data set, we can data empty cost. Okay. Just run the code. So here you can see when you run the code. There will be 32 objects and 11 variables. So, uh, here all are there. So, uh, as you know, if uh, if the elements are more like 2000 or something like that, 3000 or something like that, it will be hard for it to display here. So, for knowing the uh, the variables and the data of the data set, we need to see the first six elements or if we need to see the last six elements, so we will get an idea of what that data set means. So for that we can use the command head, head for seeing the first six elements and the command tail for seeing the last six elements. Okay, so inside the head command we can give the data set name. So you can see, see the variables are there, 11 variables are there and their values are also there. So you can see MPG value is like 21 miles, mileage is like 18, 21 etc, cylinder is 6. Is Okay, uh, now you can get an idea of all those variables. I will explain that. So, what do you mean by MPG? MPG means miles per gallon. That's the number of miles a car can travel per gallon. It's basically the mileage. And CYL means the cylinder, the number of cylinders. This means displacement. Horsepower means, HP means horsepower, the power of the engine. And uh, DRAT means real axle ratio. WT means weight and QSEC means the one fourth mile and VS means it's the engine type and AM means the transmission type. Either it is automatic or it will be manual and gear, uh, you know, the gear type, number of gears and carb means the carburetor, number of carburetors. Okay, fine. So if you get a data set, we should see all those. See, uh, cylinder 6 is there, 4 is there, all those values, transmission, like uh, 1 is for uh, transmission are of two types, that is automatic, 0 is for automatic and 1 is for manual, okay. So, let's see the summary of the data set. So, uh, whenever we get the data, we should see for data analysis, okay, we should uh, see the summary of the data. So, when we see, uh, see the summary, we can know how the data is di distributed, is there is any uh, missing values and uh, we will get an insight into the variables and we can see whether there is any outliers and we can compare the variables also. Okay, summary of empty cars. Let's run the code. So, we will get a summary. Summary means the minimum value will be there and maximum value will be there. So, for a... Uh, cylinders minimum minimum is four cylinders maximum is eight cylinders so a mean value is there and medium value is there so we know first quartile is there and the third quartile is there so basically uh, mean and median so when the data when the data has a symmetric distribution then the mean and medium tend to be closer like the six and six point one eight 6.188 so the data are closer to each other when it is having a symmetric distribution so uh, when the data is not having a symmetric distributions and having a, it is called skewed distribution um, that means the data points will be at one end or more concentrated on one end like uh, maybe towards the tail of the distribution it will be concentrated towards the tail of the distribution then it is skewed distribution then there will be a difference between mean and median values okay so here it's almost same that means it is having a uh, so symmetric distribution or symmetric distribution means both sides will be equal in the distribution like you know the graph will be there and the both sides will be equal okay now we will be moving to the visualization part so first we will be using scatter plot okay uh, in scatter plot uh, there are several types of plot like box plot 
catch a plot or those are there firstly we will be seeing the today we will be going through scatter plot and the box plot so we will give you the command plot so let us set in mpg uh, so firstly we should understand what are variables we are going to compare so i will be comparing the miles per gallon and the horsepower okay you can compare whatever you like x label so if he needs to give any label to the x axis means we can give here i will be giving miles per gallon according to the variables you choose you can give the values okay just run the code so we here we can see the scatter plot so uh, by we just need to analyze the scatter plot so after seeing the scatter plot you can understand the x axis is miles per gallon and the y axis is horsepower so um, see when the x axis increases the y axis is decreasing horsepower is decreasing that means when the mileage is high means the power of engine is less when the mileage is less means the power of engine will be high that's it okay so we can see um, here it's going in lowly so it's it's not positively correlated it is negatively correlated that means when x axis increases the y axis decreases means it is negatively correlated when both x and y increases means it is positively correlated okay so here when the x axis increases the y axis is decreasing horsepower is decreasing you can see it's not like a straight line or something positive or it's a negative curve. so if we make the lines like just give the command like line as it is not a uh, straight line or something like that we should give a smooth plane so i'm trying the curved line okay you can give the data set and the variable Just, okay if you need to do any color means you can give blue okay. hey. you will get a graph like this so you can see uh, here or it differs but here it decreases there's not much outliers are there the only one is here that is a small outlier so that's not make much difference so as you can see the graph is like this okay so from this graph we can tell that when the uh, mileage is high means the power of engine will be less okay so next we will be moving to the box plot so for box plot i will be selecting variables like uh, miles per gallon and uh, transmission type okay so box plot command is there just give that command box plot mpg miles per gallon and the transmission type okay. so next is data is equal to mp calls same like x lab is x label is equal to transmission type okay so as you know there are two types of transmission zero is for automatic and the one is for uh, manual zero is for automatic and the one is for manual okay next y labels miles per kilo okay just run the code Okay, you will get be getting one uh, two box plot for zero for automatic means this is the box plot and one for manual means this is the box plot. So uh, when we first see the box plot means we will get an idea that for manual transmission the mileage is high for manual transmission. So uh, the for manual transmission the mileage will be more than um, 20, 20 uh, gallon. 20 miles per gallon it is more than 20 miles per gallon so if we see the box plot means within the box we are taking it mainly within the box so within the box means this dark black line is the median 
below that is the q1 and above that is the q3 so the values below that one is the q1 quadrant and uh, above that is the q3 quadrant okay so this values the end values we have uh, we are not taking into considerations as there is probably little bit uh, values like 25 percentage only will be there so we are not taking into considerations we are looking only in the values that are in the box so you know that uh, the 75 percentage of the values that is q3 quadrant is above 20 miles per gallon for manual mm -hmm. And uh, if you see uh, here in the automatic transmission, it is less only. It's uh, the Q1 is 15, around Q3 is also below 20. It is coming almost around 20. It will be like 19 or something like that. 90, 20, between 90 and 20, it will be there. So Q3 will be 90 and 20, and uh, Q1 will be 50, and the medium will be around 70.5 or something like that. So the automatic transmission, the mileage is slowly compared to the Mm, manual transmission so we can say the 75 percentage of the cars with uh, more than 20 mpg are uh, manual transmission only so we should learn to analyze the plots like box plot and uh, scatter plot all block all plots we need to analyze and uh, get the values okay thank you that's all for today